qualified first, which I was pretty pumped about, and then uh, went out race one, got a, a semi decent start, and uh, got out front quite early and, and pulled a gap on the field, and then made a mistake and hit the deck, and it uh, took a while to get going again. And uh, I was going pretty pack again, and then had a mishap with another dude. And then near the end, I went over the finish line and did a big 90 and came up short and hurt myself quite bad. So um, the rest of the day from there was, was a bit of a battle. So in Moto 2, uh, I managed to race around and get fourth. Uh, the feature race was a short race, so I was able to hammer down and I managed to win that one. So I was pretty happy with that. Um, and in the final race, uh, I was going well. well. I felt like I was going good in the first five laps. and then. Um, my hip and stuff started to, to seize up and I uh, just rode around again to finish fifth. So apart from the mishap in the first race, uh, if that didn't happen, who knows what could have my day could have gone like. Um, yeah, pretty happy with the weekend, um, how it went. I um, was a little bit up and down, uh, pretty tight, rode pretty tight at, at the start of the day. Um, I think it's probably just the lack of bike time I've, um, I've had in the last um, couple of months. But, it's always kind of the way it is coming in. Um, I haven't had the best pre-season, but I think um, I think it's still pretty good, and we can um, definitely build from here. Uh, but yeah, like I said, just roads tight at the start of the day, and it's a, it's a track where you, um, if you're not feeling well, if you're not feeling comfortable on the bike, and you're um, it, it's you know it's hard to push. Uh, it's a track that will catch you out if you're, if you're not feeling good. Uh, so I kind of toned it back, um, still rode as hard as I could, but you know, within limits. Uh, a few of the other boys out there were getting pretty sketchy, which is, um, for me, it's not really worth it. So, yeah, um, come on strong at the end of the day. Uh, again, I wasn't sure how my fitness was gonna go. I um, kind of like a good tester of this event, because um, uh, most of the like, fast riders are here, and uh, it's like a good gauge to see uh, where everyone's at for nationals. Um, so yeah, I guess for me it's like a career uh, highlight to come and um, pass and beat Coops. Uh, he's I've always looked up up to him, and um, yeah, it's cool to um, beat him once. So it's good. I'm happy. Uh, so yeah, just go home, rest up, and come out swinging at round one. And just a uh, massive thanks to the CML KDM um, racing team, Makita, Twirly, all the sponsors that help out the team. Um, my wife Katie, uh, a heap of boys that help out, um, you know, with the whole team, Carl, my mechanic, uh, Fogarty, uh, Matt, Troy, uh, my dad, and uh, everyone that helps out. It's uh, such a big team effort to um, get results, so yeah, that'd be cool. So we're here at uh, Woodville, 2018. Uh, Road two classes today, MX1 and MX2, and uh, had a pretty good day, it was okay, we had some good races, had a few crashes, let us down. Uh, I think I got a couple of uh, top 10 finishes in the 450s, and same in the 250, just got bad starts on the 250s, so but all in all, it was a good weekend, and I uh, look forward to going to the first round of nationals this weekend in Plymouth. Awesome. Yeah, had a good day today, um, stayed on. Um, yeah, so it's a bit better than last year. I, I had a massive one here last year. Uh, first race, came out, rode a little conservative, but um, came up with fifth in that one. Uh, and then the second race, uh, actually had a, had a better race, but um, finished up sixth. Uh, and then the uh, feature race, uh, actually yeah, had a really good feature race, um, just outside um, placing. So uh, fourth in that one, and uh, yeah, pretty, pretty happy with that. And I was starting to get a good groove on, starting to really gel with the track and um, and then yeah the last one I got another six uh, in the next one so um, yeah I'm not sure where that leaves me overall but um, yeah happy with the day happy to stay on the bike and, um, and yeah looking forward to the nationals. Uh, we had a pretty good weekend um, we found a lot of positives um, we learned a lot today so it was nice it was a, it was a tough track for me um, I haven't done a lot of motocross lately it's probably to be honest, I'd, pro I'd be pushing 10 days of riding motocross before we come here. So, um, in saying that, we learn a lot. It would have been nice to have a bit of an easier track, but um, yeah, it, we found a lot of positives. We learn a lot about the bike, about myself, and so we've got a lot of things to work on now. Um, 
but in saying that, we're a lot better um, than when I was here in 2015. You know, I think I walked away here with a ninth or something like that, and uh, had a pretty successful year that year. So we're ten steps better than that last uh, than that year, and um, you know that was a different year. But I think gauging off that. Um, for myself, my riding and everything like that. We feel really good. Um, we'll just go change a few things and uh, work on a few things with myself. And uh, I think in the final moto, we showed uh, that we've got some fight. So it'll be really nice to um, start this New Zealand Championship and uh, get some racing under our belts.